Okay, um, I wanted to clarify a topic or that came up, a question that came up in class today, and this was the issue of independent equations and material balances. So first off, let me just remind you uh, what are independent equations. So let me write out this equation here, x plus y equals 2, 2x plus 2y equals 4. These are two different equations that we could try to use to solve for x and y, but the problem is they are not independent of each other. Um, so if you want to, you can go ahead and play around with this and try to solve for x and y, but you won't be able to come up with a solution. And that's because this second equation is 2 times the first equation. So the second equation is not an independent equation. However, if we had 3x plus 4y equals 7, that is an independent equation. So if we took this equation here and this equation here, we could go ahead and solve for it, and in that case, x equals 1, y equals 1. But again, if we would have used this equation and this equation, we would not have been able to solve for uh, what x and y are. It's just impossible because these two equations are related to each other simply by a factor of a multiple of 2. So that's independent equations, equations that you can solve uh, a problem and are not multiples of each other. So how does this re relate to material? So let me just draw a quick flow chart here. We have here M1, we'll call it stream 1, stream 2, stream 3, we have M1, excuse me, N1, N2, N3. Those are our flow rates and we'll have two components, A and B, so X1A, X1B, X2A, X2B, x 3a x 3b and there are three different equations that we could write out for this on the material balance there's the total which is simply n1 equals n2 plus n3 we could write out an a balance n1 times x1 a equals n2 times x2 a plus N3X3A, little dot. And we can write out our B balance. N1 times X1B equals N2 times X2B plus N3 times X3B. So there's a, these are three different equations, but I want to show you that they are not independent of each other. So let me just go ahead, shrink this down here. Let me show you this. So if I take equation A plus B, that would be N1X1A plus N1X1B is equal to N2 times X2A plus N2 times X2B plus N3 times x3a plus n3x3b. So I just took equation A, equation B, added them up. Let me put this up here. And if I just go ahead and use this relationship, x1a plus x1b is equal to 1, and then x2a plus x2b is equal to 1, x3a plus x3b is equal to 1. So these three equations I can use. So let me go ahead and take this equation right here, and let me go ahead and rearrange it. n1 times x1a plus x1b is equal to n2 times x2a plus x2b plus n3 times x3a plus x3b. So I just took this equation right here 
and I just grouped common uh, factors here, the N1s, the N2s, and N3s. And you'll notice that this part right here, what is that? Well, that equals 1. This part right here also equals 1. This part right here equals 1. So if I go ahead and simplify this equation, N1 equals N2 plus N3. So what does that mean? Well, it basically means that these three equations, we only have two that are independent of each other because of this relationship, where if I just take two of them, I can derive the third one. So in reality, when we're solving our algebra problems, we only have two independent equations, and this is because of the way these formulas or these equations are set up. So just reiterate, the number of species we have tells us the number of material balance, independent material balance equations that we can use to solve our problem. Two species, two independent equations. We can actually write out three of those equations, but we can only use two of them to solve for the solution, just like in the previous slide, the original slide I showed you. We only we have to make sure that our equations are mathematically independent. And that's it.